Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We are going to watch Deep Fake Roundtable. Cruz, Downey Jr., Lucas, and more. The streaming wars above the line. Wow, that's a title. Collider videos. Forget movie talk. Forget Collider Live. It's all about your new deep fakes. It's what you guys are doing. That's soaring heights these days. This is a top reward video request from a man named Lancy Dory. I'm excited to check this out. I love their George Lucas one. They've done. Oh, it's a parody of like the round tables. I actually watch those real round tables. Those are hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Mark Ellis has a hilarious new stand up. You guys should check it out. Conversation with some of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. I'm Mark Ellis, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Tom Cruise. <laughs> Honored and privileged to be here. Uh, next to him is. <laughs> Good to Ugh. see you. Uh, as always, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Ewan McGregor to my left. Uh, to his left is okay. Robert Downey Jr. Hi, I'm Robert Downey Jr. And to his left is George Lucas. Well, I apologize. Uh, earlier I had a burrito and I, I think I've got the uh, Kessel runs. <laughs> I, knew I thought it was a gas leak. Well, I just smells want to wet. apologize. Smells I wet. want to apologize. It's I know very wet. you guys were all thinking it. Oh. George. Gentlemen. The world's gone streaming. <laughs> Their heads look like streaming bobble heads. Streaming services <laughs> are all rage these days. Robert, when did you first realize that streaming was dominating your industry? You know, first I thought it was another word for golden showers. You know? No. It's a streaming thing. Sure, you know? sure, but sure. It turned out to be, it turned out to be what it is, which is strange and also perplexing and weird. The fact that something can come into your house, into your TV set, it's invasive. It's invasive surgery. There's a lot of little fine print, isn't there, all the time? Yeah, sure, sure. That's that's how it starts. Uh, at first, everyone's uh, ooh and ah, and then later there's running and Red. streaming uh, because uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park, when it came out, Jeff, I, I don't know that you could have been aware that eventually Jurassic Park would be a <laughs> right, right, right. Before the streaming services came to be as we know them, you would Netflix to send you DVDs. Oh. Jeff, do you remember the last DVD that Netflix sent you? Oh gosh, yes, yes. Uh, 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 Metro, Metro with Eddie Murphy. But I uh, had a dinner party that I remember that I was out of coasters, so I cleverly I uh, got the DVDs and I used them as coasters and I never returned them. So uh, yeah, they yeah. never return your DVDs, Tom. Uh, do you have any unclaimed DVDs that you need to send back to Netflix? <laughs> Well, actually, my loyalty resides with uh, Blockbuster. I'm a Blockbuster boy. You know, I don't even understand Netflix. What does that, <laughs> what does right, that even mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> Ultimately, it's a disaster. I remember when uh, I used to get physical discs uh, in the mail. So I would, uh, one of the things I did still do that. was uh, I took all the, uh, the uh, original versions of Star Wars that they used to rent, and I, and I kept them all. So they don't exist. They're not in circulation anymore. <laughs> oh, God. You and with these new streaming services like Disney Plus, oh, yeah. I hear you're going to have your own Obi Wan Kenobi show on the new service. Yeah, they finally figured it out. <laughs> they cracked the code. Yeah, whatever, they were making all these other ones, and then they're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with Obi Wan. Uh, George, they <laughs> actually. What? what? We, we were just talking about streaming so chaos. It goes off. I'm sorry. Did you know that, George? Are we boring you, George? Sleeping, yeah, I heard, I heard. We're boring you? As He's one a legend. of the pioneers <laughs> of uh, film technology <laughs> and furthering the art of cinema, your take on streaming services? Well, I've said before that, you know, digital was the future, and now I get this bullshit, uh, sorry, you know, I really can't believe you sold out and you're doing this, this horse's ass shit. Remember when J.J. was, uh, you know, going around shilling for the uh, Force Awakens, and they were just, oh, just what everybody was shooting in a 35 millimeter, all, oh, you know, like, like, like Joe Average in the Middle States gives a shit, he doesn't care, just wants to see the effects. Oh, we're using a couple of oh, doesn't, doesn't give a shit. Fascinating to see this type of talk on yeah. Star Wars. Robert, uh, Jeff, Tom, <laughs> Tom I, I ask, what did it Tom do to Lucas, you so real? when <laughs> you got to see Star Wars in theaters? It was one of those things where you remember where you were at the time. I remember because I was paying my parents because I was a child. So <laughs> thanks a lot. Ultimately, Star Wars is a diuretic. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was designed that way. These films were designed that way. Yeah. Uh, you don't realize that as you're watching it, but... Most people do feel that they have to go to the bathroom and excrete or expel. And that's on purpose. They were designed that way. And it worked. Written, they were written, it's true, well. yes, yes. A bit, yes, yes. Jeff, you certainly have a wild, wacky world that is yes. all your own. You actually have a show on Disney uh, Plus, The World According to Jeff oh, Goldblum. Well, I don't want to boast, but yes, yes, we have two shows on Disney Plus, so we're sort of uh, 
Uh, towing the uh, company line, of course, of you, you, Robert, have all the Marvel films now, Disney Plus. We're all on Disney Plus, it's Disney Family, except for um, Tom, Tom, Tom. Well, I, 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 tend, to, I tend to, right, I tend to walk oh, yeah. to the beat of my own drum, and I do what I want. I'm a producer at these days, you know. I do my own stunts, I do everything. You produce so, all the, yeah. all the Im impossibles. All the impossibles, <laughs> every single so, one, until, until... That's impossible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, seriously, seriously think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've mean, done that. Ooh, that's Robert, good. you've worn a lot of hats in various movies <laughs> associated with the Iron Man character. A lot of people were saying could be nominated for an award that maybe you'd be up for the best actor <laughs> Oscar at the Academy Awards ceremony. Well, of course, I would be deserved so. I think on some levels because you know I've given it my all. You know, I'm all, I'm a team player. You know, I'm a nice guy. You know, I smell good. Right, I can confirm you. that. Yes, he yes, yes. So uh, one wafting. Uh, what is the? What is the? What is this? Pocket, it's pocket for breeze. Pocket for breeze. Uh, yep. Oh, this is. I have to get this. This is very good. Jeff, oh, if I can bring it back to the, to the streaming conversation sure, sure. and the conversation about awards, there's a lot of debate in your community right now about whether streaming films should be considered for award nomination. Anything wins these days. Anything can win at any time. So it's like you know, if it's a Velveeta commercial. You know, look out. Well, no, that's, that's not going to be considered for it. The motion pictures. It's done well if it's done black and white, done perhaps French noir. Sure, sure. I, I like this. And I think uh, Steve uh, Spielberg, uh, I think he he disagrees. I think he feels that, uh, of course, that the streaming is not eligible for the, the awards. But well, he, was, he was wrong about laser disc too. You know, he fought hard for laser disc. Well, uh, and, and laser tag. <laughs> laser, laser, laser tag, yes. Yeah, Something to the yeah. film conversation. Yeah. Uh, I know Steven Spielberg, a good friend of George's, <laughs> yeah. uh, he does have strong opinions on the state of affairs, as does Martin Scorsese. Robert, he actually came out recently and said that he does not consider Marvel Cinematic Universe films to be cinema. He compared them more accurately to theme parks. Well, these guys are getting up there age-wise, and they're having digestive problems. So yeah, I, would, I would just attribute it, you know, they're just going to crank the mood because, you know, their diaphragm doesn't work. Yeah, it's yeah, true. but it's true to the you because know, have I, I have one. Uh, if you'd like to see it later, uh, it's it's. I don't um, know how you well, it. well, I I keep them because you never know. You know, you may give them to you a keep diaphragms. Sure, sure, because I'm. Wait, right, I think you're thinking a diagram. Diagram. That's oh, it. Yes, yes, diagram. yes. Because I was about to say, Jeff. Yeah, diaphragms on you. I have to leave. <laughs> Jeff, you know, know it is interesting. You're such an eccentric <laughs> personality, and we see the current culture that's in Hollywood. How have you avoided? <laughs> Scandal. I well, well, I I, 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 stay in. I don't go out a lot. I, I, I mainly play uh, my music, jazz. I'm doing a lot of uh, piano playing. And uh, yes, years ago, I was, you know, sleeping with uh, uh, Gina Davis, which is a large. <laughs> I got Amazonian. Uh, How'd you get Gina Davis, by the way? Oh, well, well, well. Seriously, be honest with you. We don't need all the dirty details. Yeah, well, well, no, no, but well, that would well, be I was doing a scene where I was hanging from the, the, the rafters as the fly, and uh, we locked eyes, and uh, she's into insects. It turns out she enjoys. Uh, yeah, or at least oh, someone hung like an insect. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. But, yes, but yes. it's more of a. Oh, it's more of a compliment, more of a ooh. Yeah, right. Well, as we get back into the topic at hand, and that would be streaming services. Uh, Jordan, I want to start with you. What was your most intense show binging experience? Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, what program really got you sucked in? Well, I really have been, been enjoying the, uh, the Friends, uh, just binge watching all that. I was kind of a fan of that, you know, Ross Rachel stuff. And I like the little monkey that was in there, too. What was uh, Marcel. Marcel, Marcel, Marcel yeah. It was Marcel. a little too quick. But uh, I enjoyed Marcel, and I actually based a lot of uh, quick and things too on, quick. Uh, Marcel's movements and, and his, his character. Is that true? On Marcel from France? Sure, sure. He's... Where's the love for Seinfeld here? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really understanding what's happening there. Where's the love for well, Seinfeld? You know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's <laughs> but even nothing is something. Well, you know. You're a head and shoulders commercial gone wrong, okay? <laughs> I, I think he's, he's being complimentary to you. Uh, such great just hair at your just, age. That's, that's, a dan that's a dandruff shampoo, okay? Let's not mince words. I know what it is. You're out of your mind. You know what? I'm sure you like it, though. Uh, Tom, I'm going to give you the answer to Seinfeld for the streaming question. You know, the Ice Planet of Hoth was uh, based on, uh, in the late 70s, I had a bad bout of uh, dandruff, and that's, that's kind of where the idea came from. Uh, I'll tell you, one time I was eating uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, and I was dreaming, and I came up with the idea for Mustafar, the, uh, the lava planet. So a lot of it's about dreaming and eating and sleeping. I love Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> Robert, you certainly had a great run as Iron Man. Had a great run? It's super Look faint, by the way. Pause it. Go yeah. in on a close shot. Uh, Robert, there seems to be. Hold on a second. We're on a close shot. I got a camera coming at me right now. I'm Iron Man. 
And you are almost Iron Man. Almost Iron Man. You were well, almost Iron Man. Thought before Robert was announced, yeah. it was uh, rumored, and we've heard since that you were considered for the role. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we, you know, just some creative differences, and I, I was reading other scripts, and right, one, the one mummy, to maybe was the mummy on your plate at that time. <laughs> The mummy was something, you know, I was build, trying to build out my own universe, the dark, the dark universe. Yeah, that so, worked uh, out pretty well. Gentlemen, let's <laughs> get this conversation back to above the line territory. Well, let's do some fun rapid fire questions. George, start with you. If you could Netflix and chill with anyone throughout history, who would that be? Well, that would probably be uh, you know, Sergei uh, Eisenstein, <laughs> one of the great uh, filmmakers. Uh, so you, you, you would actually watch Netflix? We would watch the film. I understand what we Yeah, I think we should move on to what's your favorite app? Uh, my trail sticks. See what I did there? Uh, it's it's yeah. another kind of app. It's not, it's not on the digital front. It, they are delicious. I was uh, thinking if there's something on your, your phone. I get it. <laughs> that was really late. So I was like, what? <laughs> a tizer. I love worms with friends. Just, that's all I am is Scrabble and all day. Me. That's right. Yeah, we'll play. Well, so, do you play? Absolutely. Oh, we ought to get one going right now. Do you have a favorite letter? Um, my letter, my favorite letter, oh, I'd have to say O. Oh. Jeff, do you use a cellular oh, telephone? Oh, oh, gosh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the angry birds. Oh, I love that. They're so angry. And then there's, probably, there's pigs and birds and uh, sometimes spiders. Oh, I love you there. Uh, yes, yeah. Robert, oh, you were attempting a Jeff Goldblum impression. Uh, very good, very good. Uh, there's you. Uh, uh, gotta touch, touch, your, touch your wrist. Oh, everybody, it's almost like he's yeah, 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 touch the, uh, 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 And then touch yourself. You've got to touch yourself. A touch, your, touch yourself. <laughs> and then, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, the chair just oh, oh, Is that how they made their seat? They used the force. They used the force. Are you okay? I think you're going to lose it. Oh, dear. Somebody's. Do you not stop rolling? Do not stop rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I threw a bird of his chair, and that's all. Oh, that's all. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, there boy. it is. He's still getting time. Robert, we won't keep Go ahead. Ask me a question for Christ's sake, or otherwise you're going to bust another chair, oh, probably. No, no, uh, no. Robert, if you could steal an Oscar from anyone in Hollywood, who would it be? Oh, uh, that little girl from Piano. Did she win? I take it from her. Uh, the, the <laughs> Anna, Anna Paquin. I agree. She was uh, didn't deserve it, so maybe <laughs> she would give it to you now. Uh, I don't think uh, we're asking Anna Paquin uh, to give. I feel Robert. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you could steal an Oscar, you seem like too nice of a guy to do that. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'd steal it, but I would maybe ask for it from from Alec Guinness. He's a big hero, so I think it would be kind of fun, you know, if one gave me one. I, he fought, also played Obi Wan Kenobi, and no, they have kind of a thing there. Yeah, I'd yeah. steal it and I'd give it back. I was just kidding, Alec. <laughs> That'd be good. George Lucas, if you could steal an Oscar. I think I'd like to steal an Oscar from anybody at this point. I hesitate to move it to this next topic. Robert, starting with you, porn, mobile or laptop? Depends if I'm on my back or my top. That's as far as we'll take that. Ewan. No, I'd rather not see if I've actually looked at it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have hologram uh, porn. <laughs> So similar to this. Yeah, let's try not to laugh. Phone. I have a replica of the phone. And, <laughs> and then, you know, obviously I say, out I say dirty George. things like, uh, you know, as the emperor, I say, you want this? You know, it's my penis. <laughs> the the food is lost. Your friends will not survive. Right. Let's have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Tom, do you prefer it mobile or on your computer? Well, you know, i got to say neither because I have a vivid imagination. You know, I have a <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, uh, you could use your mind as a uh, tantric, but sometimes I like yes. to do it while I'm jogging. Uh, I have my uh, iPad strapped to my belly, and of course I look down and uh, oh, you watch uh, porno while you jog. Sure, sure, because uh, because it's cardiovascular. We should go jogging. Again. Yes, yes, I would love to. Yeah. You wear this coat. Well, Holland. All of, yes, Wall Holland. Great very film. Private, yes, very dark. Very private. That's how I like it. Oh. So Jeff Goldblum and Tom Cruise are going to go jogging, fully clothed, oh, with yes, a computer yes, device uh, strapped oh, to their body. Poor belly. And oh, yes, 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 yes. In yes, the yes, canyon. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> she, the canyons is a selling point. Yeah, yeah. see that? Yeah, well, right? Yes, yeah. yes. I think that's going to do it for us here. No! At the <laughs> I'd like to Keep going! Well, thank you to <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, Tom Cruise, <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., and Ewan McGregor. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and we'll Thanks, see you man. real soon on a, another Above the it's Line memorable, intimate conversations with some of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. I'm I'm Mark Ellis. <laughs> Hi.
That's Tom Cruise. Your favorite wing. Hello, I'm Ewan McGregor. Yep. Wow. I'm here. I'm Robert Downey Jr. Hi, this is George Lucas, uh, creator. Wow, some of them look so real. Collider Video. Thanks for watching Collider Video. There is no substitute. I'm supposed to tell you about Collider and how much I enjoy it. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more things like this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh, can, I, can I do it as um, Obi-Wan? Hello there. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> you press the button that says subscribe and the little bell. Just subscribe, click the bell, and uh, Jar Jar Binks forever. Okay, bye bye. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That deep fake on Mark Ellis looked great. Uh... <laughs> Oh, Christian. Oh, Christian does a Mark oh. impression that's pretty oh. great. Oh, man, I'm so... Ah, oh, you broke the internet. I bet there's not one comment. Not one! That says that. Dude, shut down the internet. The jokes are done. We did it. Oh. We did it. It was fun when uh, I was able to just get lost in it. I would stop thinking about the deep fakes. At first, some of them have this like uncanny look to them. Other times, you could see like the uh, green see screen the shadow effect. The blurs, yeah, they, you know? yeah, especially in certain movements. So when you get lost in it, and then you just start to take it as like the weird bit it is. This must have been improvised. In the beginning, I felt like they were trying to out improv each other. I thought these guys were awesome. Uh, they all had such great fine-tuned detail characters uh, of who their personalities were that they were embodied. I really thought the Tom Cruise one <laughs> and George Lucas one felt the most like people. The Jeff Goldblum one felt like it's a great impersonation and it's, it's, it's great mimicry. It sounded a lot like him as did everyone else's, but it was Tom Cruise and George Lucas it just felt like <laughs> they seem like three-dimensional humans <laughs> right now to me. You know, like the, the exact responses they would give for things were so on point with, with seeing them in interviews and stuff. Absolutely adored it. Who was your favorite? George Lucas has become a, a, a favorite of mine just because I really love this take on him and it does feel sort of uncanny in a way. I, I love just how much he doesn't give a shit about anything. <laughs> Coming off that Star uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker like trailer reaction and then this like whoever's doing that impression just has this effortless yeah I don't care attitude that, that really tickles me. Uh, Ewan McGregor got me in this one just because he seemed like he was the kid at the adults table and he was the most understated impression which at a table full of people competing with their impressions actually does start to stand out and shine a little bit. Ah! It's so weird Weird. Oh, shine? Is there, a, is there a joke? This guy doesn't know movies. Oh, shine? Is there? Oh, the Doctor Sleep, because because of his shine. Ha 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 ha. It's good. I didn't even pull that one together. It's like the uh, apps joke in the middle of uh, with Robert Downey. And the mozzarella sticks? Yeah, I still don't get it. And yeah, Jeff Goldblum, it was like a Jeff Goldblum solo. I just started the Disney Plus show, uh, the Jeff Goldblum one, that it was pretty accurate. And see, the thing is, these are all better than whatever the hell I could possibly do with any of these impressions, all right? So automatically, they're all incredible. There are some that felt like you were doing impressions and there were other ones that felt like characters. The Ewan McGregor one was the one that I thought was most lackluster. I get where you're, you're coming from and, and like that does make sense, being the kid at the table with all the adults and having this sort of sense of wonder and, and I think that impersonation, that element of it is really nailed down. It only had like one moment that I actually thought was like funny. Oh yeah, I just enjoyed the impression, I guess. He wasn't the funniest by any stretch because he seemed to have like the least riffing and the least jokes and the least feature in this and, and that's gonna happen because you can't have everybody be status one. Well, his personality I don't think quite fits. Even if, if these were all the real actors, I don't feel like his personality quite is on the same level. It's more of a caricature. With everyone else. Even McGregor, I, I take a little bit more of a serious actor level. It's not to say I don't, like Tom Cruise is one of my favorite actors ever. All of them are, but their personalities, even McGregor personality isn't as well known or defined in the public eye, as well as everyone else's that you see in this video. You know, like we all know what to like, that intense charisma of Tom Cruise. We all know that cynicism of George Lucas. We all know that narcissism of uh, Robert Downey Jr. And we all know the weird zany quirkiness of Jeff Goldblum. I thought they all really brought that to life. And I thought Mark Ellis did a really great job on handling this fun little improv game they had going here. He's the anchor. Yeah, like the right reactions 
scenes. I imagine there's probably some outtakes. There was a point towards oh. the end where it seemed like he was ready to it's break. Gotta be an hour of footage for this. <laughs> I love to see an extended cut of this because as it kept going, I just I didn't want it to stop when they said they're editing, and I'm like, oh, I go watch this forever, man. Nah, dude, feature length film. We're talking. Yeah. It starts in the studio, but then it goes off road. Then you get so many more <laughs> cameos, endless cameos, and then throw in a couple actual cameos to mm. really confuse people, and you get an above the line movie. Kickstart yeah. it. That'd be great. Kudos to the editor here, because this is a lot of hard sound design to work around. You can kind of hear it. The room tone cuts out a lot. Yeah, yeah and it's when you're focusing on one actor and then you move to another one in a different shot. A really noticeable cut in the audio. I couldn't um, tell if that was a if it was like an edge or if that was like a, a nod to how a lot of these round table, like you're dealing with a lot of lav mics or something. Was it like an intentional thing? Maybe. But when you got an improv like this, you have to, you need a really good editor to know when to cut to because some, yeah. some of these are not funny on its own. Like if you're just watching it in, in like one master shot, depending on like the certain cuts that you would make. Or reactions by somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Th that's what makes it really work. As a fan of like the Hollywood round tables, this was a, a very big delight for myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy these while they last <laughs> before the deep fake technology becomes a real issue. <laughs> uh, well, there's a con there's a channel called con Control Shift Base who does these amazing deep fakes, but it seems like it's become a technology that people are slowly but surely mastering. Time. There are concerns about these sinister implications. The deep, deep I fake say technology. Do it. Deep fake James Dean. Let's do this. Deep fake everything. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe to Collider Videos. You guys can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click our notification bell to get notified whenever we got a YouTube video up. You can check us out on Patreon where we got a bunch of goodies. Lance Door. He is engaged and he is going to be getting married in. Hawaii, baby! So excited for you, dude. That is such a romantic spot mm. to get married. What I would really recommend is you get the will taken care of as soon as possible because it's easy to get rid of your new wife on your honeymoon in Hawaii, throw her in the ocean, and then collect whatever life insurance mm. you can get off of her. Mm. Use that money to increase your pledge on Patreon. Mm. Everybody wins, dude. Mm -hmm. So take it from me, man. If you want to know the best way to kill your wife, it's in Hawaii. Master the deep fake, and if anybody asks, you can just send them videos of her hanging out in Hawaii. Perf. Get on it. We all know you're really gay, Lance, so cut it out.